I think it was 1982 or 83 when I graduated um, to, uh, if you're familiar at all with kind of historical markets, that era was the era of Wall Street and all the financial companies were soaking up every college graduate that came out of school. So <clears throat> there I took my uh, biology degree and uh, my experience as a river guide and went to work in the financial world. Um, and then after that became a portfolio manager um, for five years over a fund, an income fund um, that was managing a billion five and, and that really was an amazing experience. At that point I saved up my money and I decided I hated the finance business and I never wanted to look at another balance sheet as long as I lived. So I quit my job and again took off uh, with a boyfriend at the time and, and traveled around the world for, for a year. I had a group of women friends who would go on a yoga retreat every year and I started going with them about 16 years ago. I, for the first two years, kind of listened to all the projects they were working on. They were all documentary filmmakers. And I really started thinking, wow, this is, this is a great way to convey kind of what I had inside and you know I had learned and really um, felt I could be powerful um, and I didn't know kind of how to do that because I didn't know anything about uh, cameras, editing, um, anything about the business at all but I did know finance and so um, that's where I started out. I learned a very valuable lesson about storytelling and film. Um, when you approach a subject uh, and you take an attacking tone towards that, the, the antagonist, you automatically lose half of who you want to see the film and create change through. If you don't take yourself out of that opinion and put yourself in the shoes of the opposing side, somebody will point the finger and say, ha ha, you know, you're, you're skewed, you're, you know, they'll find fault. And, and instead of focusing on what the facts are and the changes you want to make, they focus on what's wrong with the way you made it. And that's a really important lesson, um, which I think we did really well in Invisible War and, and The Square and Misrepresentation. And I think that's why those films um, have been so powerful in their impact and outreach.